watching the ACC Softball Championship on ESPN. We come to you from the beautiful campus at Duke University where Florida State, two-time defending champs, comes into town. This time is the number two seed as they get ready to take on the host and regular season champion Duke Blue Devils. They won this championship three years ago and trying to get back on top in the ACC and claw and fight to bring home that trophy yet again. Quite a bit of time in the circle composing herself and with that pre-motion point to the left, it eats up a ton of time. Got it off in plenty of time. Mudge sends it into left field. Amaya Burgess has just been spectacular. Those numbers speak for themselves. Sends it into center field. Jennings has to retreat and just gets it about a step in front of the wall. The being able to keep them off the bases and prevent those runs from coming around. Another full count pitch to Harding. Yeah. High and tight. So says home plate umpire. Thing, and then they beat Clemson in thrilling fashion in 10 innings yesterday. Vega, the defensive player of the year, throws it over to end the inning to get Torres and Strand. Harding, Duke coming up. Lifted in the air for Kennedy Hart. It was Davidson actually who led off yesterday and uh, co coaches you he was able to get in the regular season actually came behind the arm of McKenna Reed. One out walk for Davidson and McKenna Reed who they relied on so heavily there she is. We talked to coach use that rise ball you can lay off. 3-1 pitch driven into the gap. Chasing it down, Janai Kerr for the second out. And Amaya Burgess is trusted bat. Gets the bunt down, Beecham, so good. Gets it over to Flaherty, who was covering to end the inning, and Strand Davidson. We are scoreless after one. A lot of time and energy and love go into it. Ed and Field just got under it. Grabbed by Davidson for the first out of the second inning. Right strikes out Flaherty and Torres makes it official. And we said, you know, Lonnie, if you win this tournament, you win. So I think 50, just a little too deep. I don't know that they're going to be able to make the postseason. Vega, the defensive player of the year, does it again. Amina Vega. Royalty did surrender a walk in that first inning on a gold. Picked up by Torres. And this infield defense, come on. You got two freshmen, true freshmen on the left side. Then you got Devin Flaherty playing second. 2-1 so, count. Right back to Royalty, who calmly gets it over to Ross. So a couple of ground ball outs to start off the second. The shortstop, number 25, Jada Baker. Royalty again. Very efficient inning. Only had to throw 11 pitches to get messed up, but thank goodness there were no injuries there. On a goal from her knees! Almost! Boy, what a play. And was going on that last pitch that Harp fouled off. And going again, throw down, and she is out! Kelly Torres! The stadium, a lot of her family making the trip. And it's playable for Tapia. 12 pitch inning that time. For Jayla Wright. For us to be able to show you, but it was a really difficult look, and so we're just grateful that they're watching and supporting Frankie. Frankie's thrown out by Issa Torres to start things off here in the season. So very hard to strike out. Puts the ball in play all the time. Does that. Ross. Turned blue than when she played. 3-1, hit on the 
nose, but right at Kennedy Hart. Not close. Second walk surrendered by Wright. For them. In the lineup. That is pounded. Harding with the line drive home runner. Second homer of the championships. And Florida State breaks on top. Well, what did Coach Alameda say she needed her hitters to do? Find a ball that was elevated in the zone. Pick it in at the knees. She likes to throw the change up to disrupt your timing. But look at the location of that drop down the middle of the plate and thigh high. If you are a big hitter, that's the pitch you want, knowing that you're not going to get a ton of them. Full count. Another play for Vega. That one sails high. And Torres is safe. Edenfield sends it into right. Torres gonna get to third. They're waving her home as the ball got all the way to the wall. Edenfield scrambles back to clutch on to second base after driving in Torres. Big time players come through in big time moments. When you've got speed on first base, Edenfield takes advantage on a pitch down and away. She lets it travel and keeps the barrel back, driving it all the way to the right side. With Claire Davidson out there in right field, that is different. We normally see her in left, but Issa Torres fast, and with the bobble out on the wall in right field by Davidson, it gives Torres a chance. Well, spot, the pitching staff has kept the games so close. Clarity down one and two, swinging away. That will get Edenfield over to the third is Vega. Sends it over for the first out. That typically is that swing and miss pitch up in the zone. Yeah. Went up again and got Kerr for a strikeout. 2-2 Two -two with Potter over at third and she got her. How about a couple of strikeouts after a ground ball out? Kerr got her hands full, but they are all so grateful to have him healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Claire Davidson. It's not caught by Mudge, so Davidson takes a wide turn but has to go back to first. We're so used to Mudge making that catch. Aaron Golden is the replay review umpire. That finds a hole for Vega. Davidson stops at second. Can be erratic at times. You lose your way in that drop ball. Got to be a wall back there for your pitcher. Full count. There's nobody out. Ross makes the tag to get the first out, but the runners advance. Famous again, it's going to be hard to walk around town. Oh, man. <laughs> Anna just got under it. Gold flies out to Harp. The tag from Davidson gets the first Duke run, but she just got under it. One runs, cleanly hit in the left field. Taylor White sends her, and she is safe. Terrell, the pinch runner, scoring all the way from second. Hit, did not get a hit in her first at bat, so she was 0 for 9, and look at the way she tattoos the ball out to left. Mudge has a strong arm, but the throw is offline, and because of that, look at that, Terrell's wheels. Hitting third, no hesitation. And a great slide on the outside part of the plate. Let's squad. 2-2. Two -two. Another change up that's popped up to Flaherty to end the inning. But a great response after Florham Jan. There's hardly any green we can see. That's, this is my favorite time of year. Good weather, good softball, and lots of fans coming out to support. Gold throws out Hart in a nice play to start the fifth. Cam Ward and Jenny Dalton Hill just up with rain in the SEC tournament. 2 2. Mudge sends it into left field, but it's playable for Burgess. Along her softball journey. And this is what Beecham can do all the way to the fence, but just 
brought in by Jennings. Clarity throws out freely. This year, an ERA that was elevated to 3.37. Ross handles Tapia for the second out. Danley doing a good job. First pitch strikes to create the same kind of momentum. Takes a strike on the outside corner. Danley set the win against Notre Dame in the quarterfinals. Leads off against Kurd. That one is sky towards Vega. He's got the glasses on. Fun roll Georgia Tech 10 to 2 in the semis. Kurd sets down Torres. Starter Jayla Wright faced when she got her RBI double last time up in that three run third. That's a tidy inning for Kerr, just seven pitches as she got Edenfield to pop out. Duke coming up in the bottom of the sixth. Full count. That's low. Uh, somebody's gonna get their ticket punched here between Florida State and Duke and we... I'm not as cool as like Daniel Laurie, she got twice. Got her. Big pitches in that one for Aston Danley. And I love the way that this fresh, and so their weakness is not as exposed. Walked her on the full count pitch. Two walks surrendered by Danley in this inning. Better because of that, less home runs. But that's right up the middle. Davidson comes around to tie the game. With a runner in scoring position, she takes it right over the head of Danley. But when you leave a pitch down the heart of the plate, you got to hit her like gold up. You've got to be ready to play defense. She is going to tattoo that ball out to the outfield. Not only does it score a run, but now Pam, two runners in scoring position for Duke. And they've just got one out. Motoring around the bases, Davidson scores the tying run. The intentional walk loads him up for Jada Baker. Take away a ball on the dirt. Hoping for that so they can throw home and get the force. It's picked up by Flaherty. She goes home and bounces. Enfield can't grab it, so Burgess is safe. A solid defender at second, Flaherty. The throw comes out of her hand. Wonky. And when you're wearing a catcher's mitt, backhanding a ball is difficult to do because of the structure of the glove itself. You've got to be able to catch that ball in the air. She blocks it up, but that was a situation where she... For Freelip. The scoop play by Danley. Gets the second out. Job, and the unique piece about that one is there was no tag needing to be applied. And so as the bunt goes down, it just needs to be a situation where Edenfield makes sure that her foot is on the plate to get the force at home. Clemson. When Clemson won the regular season championship, Tapia delivers some insurance runs. Coming in, two more across the plate for the Devils. Why do you like to have the tournament at home, Pam? Because of this situation right here. The crowd making a difference, putting tons of pressure on the defense. Florida State coming away with some errant throws right now. Belvi to replace Mudge out there and left. 
That throw nowhere near on target, and then the throw to second base from Edenfield with that broken finger sails high, but luckily she had some backups out there in the outfield to bring the ball in. Duke. Lifted into the air, drifting back under the grass. Torres grabs it for the final out of the inning, but what an inning it was. Just their third full season of softball. Baker, one out. Sky high, Torres flips off the mask. Duke's one out away as Kelly turned toward the crowd after she caught the ball. Ross draws the two out walk and that is the first base runner. Wake Hazel off Kurt's glove. Can she recover in time? Yes! It's the Duke double. The regular season champs are now the ACC tournament champion. And they do it in comeback fashion scoring six unanswered runs. Kurt shot him down in the circle, and they get the title. Florida State got the early advantage, scoring three in the fourth, and I thought it was going to continue to be a Florida State hit parade. But Kurt entered the game, shut everything down. Florida State unable to put another run up on the board, and the names emerging as these teams continue to improve and put pressure on the Seminoles. And Jayla Wright, the senior, pitcher of the year in the ACC, can now add ACC tournament champion to her resume. As the Blue Devils take it, Cassidy Kurd re retired 13 of the 14 batters she faced, just that walk.